Okay guys, so when we talk about being involved in the strength and conditioning program like we do here at TJ's Gym, what we're trying to get across is the idea of what that really means when we talk about strength and the concept of strength. Getting stronger to change your health performance and aesthetic. Being stronger means, doesn't mean you're gonna look like a bodybuilder, it doesn't mean, unless you want to, it doesn't mean that you're going to get hurt. All it means is that we're gonna change your nervous system in a few different ways to literally make you better. So we break it down into kind of four different areas of what that means. The first area, one to three reps, would be pure strength. Literally your nervous system is getting stronger so you can move a much heavier weight. So when we write something like this on the board, basically it means I can't get four reps. I can't get five reps. The strength is so much. Now what do you have to have? Perfect technique. Absolutely perfect technique. Your coach will not allow you to go outside of this realm if you have any flaws in your game, okay? The next one would be our strength hypertrophy, four to eight reps. A combination of strength and building of lean body mass that goes on, okay? So once again, not getting big and bulky, but you have to have some muscle mass to have a faster metabolism and to literally be stronger, okay? That range right there, same idea, four to eight reps. If you're able to sneak out a couple more in this range, it's more of a mental battle, we're kind of okay with that. We're allowed that to, to creep up a little bit more where you're trying to push yourself. Your form has got to be about 95%, 90 to 95% perfect. We're allowed to have a little bit of what I like to call speed wobble in there, like when you're on a, on a skateboard, okay? 8 to 12 reps, pure hypertrophy. Getting 12 to 13, 14, once again, is kind of okay in here. That's where we more or less feel the burn, and we're really working on adding uh, a lot of lean body mass in a good, positive way. Remember, lean body mass does not take up a lot of room in our body unless we want it to, okay? So we're just literally trying to use this realm to really speed that metabolism up. The last one, 15 plus reps, would be called conditioning. Okay, it's kind of in the same realm as riding the Airdyne on the rower, you're swinging a kettlebell for 20 reps, you're doing 20 sit-ups, it's usually coupled with other movements to create a, something more for the aerobic system, the cardiopulmonary system, than it is really in trying to build up strength. So there's actually a line drawn here when we're talking about the idea of pure strength in these workouts. Okay, once again, your coaches are always available for any questions. Thanks a lot, guys.